Now here's a bit of a demo on how to roll a wall. Uh, whenever you're rolling or painting walls, one of the first things you want to do is to cut it in and then roll. Now it's okay for first coats or primer coats to cut it in uh, to roll it first, um, but with final coats you must always cut it in and then roll it. Okay, so now we'll start our rolling. Now when you're rolling a wall, make sure you've got plenty on your roller. Always start approximately half a roll width away from the corner. Roll down, definitely not to the bottom, and then roll back up. And once again, don't roll all the way up the top. Then spread that paint out. I still haven't gone to the top as yet. There's plenty of paint on the roller. So I'll just spread it out. And once you're happy that uh, there's not a lot of paint left, that's when you can go right up to the top. Then right down to the bottom. Like so. Now that's sort of rolled out, but I'll actually do one more dip. Now once again, I'll start roughly a roller width away from where I've just rolled. I'll spread the paint out a little bit and then spread the paint back into what I've just rolled. And once again, as the paint gets less and less, that's when you can roll right up to the top and right down to the bottom. Okay, now I'm obviously left-handed, so I always work from left to right. But if you're right-handed, you'll probably want to work from your right to your left. Now I'll lay it off. Now I always start at the bottom. I roll up and then come back down. Now some people like to start from here and come down. And each time they're doing that, they're taking the roller out like this and then back up. So it's sort of a bit of a waste of time. I find it's just as easy to go from the bottom up back down. Each time you're not worried about hitting the corners. If you start at the top and roll down, you've always got to worry that you're going to hit the corners each time you are um, putting the roller on the wall. So now I've got to there. It's pretty well just repeat the same process. Once again, about half a roller width. Spread the paint out. I haven't got quite as much on this one, this dip. Just move my roller tray. That's another handy tip too. Always have your roller tray close by and not on the other side of the room, like I have seen some people do. So as I said, once again, it was roughly half a roller width away. Now I'm swapping hands, which I have to do when you get to a corner. Okay, so now I've got to roll it all out. Now there's two ways some people will like to go back from that corner back into what I've just done. Um, it's not going to over matter. And when you're rolling this out, it's only lightly. You're lightly going back over the wall just to flatten the texture out of the, the roller. This way you'll end up with a smoother and even finish. Once again, I'll swap hands. Well, start again. And there you go, that's pretty much how you roll a wall. 
Oh, just another little tip uh, that I forgot to mention is when you're rolling your walls, um, you'll notice how I was rolling in little sections. Uh, I rolled actually two and then I rolled back over it. Um, at the moment it's quite cool, so I can get away with doing that. In fact, I probably could have rolled the whole wall and then rolled back over it and it would have been fine. Um, during warmer conditions, you may want to just roll one little section, then lay that section off, then start your next one and lay that one off and obviously roll back into the one you've just finished. So yeah, it's just a little tip I've got to tell you because um, obviously depending on weather conditions will depend on how